I had an incident, an interesting incident with free will yesterday. Coming home from uh, lunch, Yumiko and I uh, parked in the wrong parking spot. We parked in our neighbor's spot. A young couple with a small baby. Um, such, such an old man thing to do, and Yumiko didn't notice either. <laughs> and it wasn't until about three or four hours later that I we went on a dog walk, and I looked over, and I realized, oh, my God, we're parked in our neighbor's spot. I raced, I cha- raced in, chain, moved the car to the appropriate place, raced over to their house to apologize, but they were out. We did the dog walk. I came back and grabbed a bottle of wine and ran over to their apartment and knocked on the door and apologized profusely. I gave them a bottle of wine and apology. Um, I mean, and they were very kind. They're, they're a nice couple. They're both game designers, and they work from home. I see them all the time. They're walking back and forth with their little daughter. They take the daughter to the morning to catch her little bus in the morning and then pick her up in the afternoon. Um, anyway, they didn't need the hassle. They had to park outside the facility and then walk in, poor things. So uh, that was a real shame. I really felt bad about that. But I, the experience I had, the relevant point here was as soon as I realized what I had done and that I and I moved the car, I felt so bad because I knew because I had seen them while I was parked in their spot. I had seen them traipsing back and forth. So clearly they had come back and found our car sitting there. I don't think they put two and two together and figured out it was me because they walked right past the window. <laughs> they could have I mean, I, I interact with my neighbors all the time through the window here. They could have uh, said, Hey, you're parked in our spot but they didn't. Anyway, I did Everything exactly as I would under any prior circumstance before I, before I lost or, or became, a, it's like a superpower now, before I gained the ability to dis- disengage myself from the believing in free will. It's, 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 it's something that I can do now at will, so to speak. <laughs> That's funny. Says, okay, stop thinking of free will. Stop, think, stop believing in free will. And then the whole aspect, the whole character, the landscape, everything changes. And what changes is that I feel disengaged from it in terms of the consequence and the responsibility. But that doesn't mean I don't take action. My, the rest of me is still on autopilot for whatever values have been cultivated in my life in these 59 years. And I do everything exactly the same. I still sh- raced inside. You know, I, I, I saw my car there. I said, oh my gosh, immediately free will switched off. The concept, the belief in free will switched off. I wasn't feeling the responsibility of it, but I still raced in, grabbed my shoes, raced out, moved the car, did everything like that. And um, was thinking about it while I was walking, but not much. And then got back and did the whole bottle of wine, everything like that. But without the, I did everything I needed to do, but without the churning knot of the pain of guilt and responsibility, responsibility because because I have none <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm no be- I'm no more responsible for that than a sunset <laughs> is responsible for for the darkness that follows it's I it had there's that's it's the way the universe is unfolding so that was interesting hmm. it's an interesting change in life. And I, cu- and I couldn't will it, so to speak. There it is again. It just came about on its own uh, through enough of enough consideration on the subject. And I didn't have a choice in that either, it seems. <laughs>